Man, this is cool. This is cool. I'm excited. This is a kind of a brand new chapter. Just got access to a new little hunting lease here in Georgia. It's June right now. It's hot as Hades. But this is a this is cool. This kind of brings me back to my roots. You know, I kind of grew up with my dad when I was a young kid, just hunting little 150 acre tracks and. We've been fortunate over the last few years running with Tyler, being able to hunt some unbelievable places, but this is kind of like coming coming back home. So this is this is a brand new piece of ground that I've got the opportunity to lease and it's just timber company land, so it's not a, there's no ag or anything. It's mainly just thick planted pines. I've looked at it for several days on Onyx before we even came out here and uh, just did all my research. I could tell it was pretty hilly and it's thick planted pines. I'd say they're probably four or five year old planted pines, just a ton of bedding area with uh, hardwood draws mixed in. So. You didn't tell we were gonna be on film. You didn't even throw on makeup on this morning or anything. My buddy Cohen Stone, who is the producer of Bone Collector, is thinking about joining the lease with me. We're just gonna document this process. We actually came up with this today at the office. We were sitting around talking. I was telling Daniel Thomas about this opportunity I have. He's like, man, it'd be cool to document it. So that's what we're gonna do. Did you bring any cameras? I told you I don't have any. They're all in the woods. I don't even want to lease this place. I'm just doing this for you. I felt bad for you. I'll take your money. <laughs> I don't care. I, don't I hope you don't. I hope you don't come home. All right, be gentle. Up. All this, all this behind us, all this thick pines over this peninsula. But like I could see. This being a good spot to put a camera like right up here on yeah, top well, of this ridge. Everything we just drove through being on top of that hill and all those pines, I'm sure that's where a lot of deer are bedding. Yeah. Up on top of the hill. Especially if it just wraps around like this. Lake on one side. I just, I'm just going to like walk right up here, see what it looks like. You think that's turkey scratching? Yeah, that's probably armadillos. But some of this looks like turkey scratching. Pretty hilly. But like you could get down to that bottom right there. I feel like that with it being as as hilly as it is, it might kind of funnel the deer down. Hopefully, a little bit. That little hardwood finger right there looks like it's fairly flat. It's all. Let me pull up a different layer. But like over on this side, like a lot of these different draws that we haven't even looked into, like all this is pretty looking hardwoods on the map. Cow trail. I'm gonna put a stand probably right, right in here. Right, I think I'm gonna hang a stand over here. No, I, I already put a dot on my Onyx for this spot. I was going to put you on across the road. Community stand? No, uh -uh. I'm going to hunt here. I was okay. gonna, I'm going to take this side of the road, you take the other side. Ding. Huh? I want to see this back where it'll... It's different. Well, I guess it's not really that much. This is what everybody else, for the most part, for Georgia hunting leases have to deal with is timber company. I mean, obviously they cut everything that they could. So all these side hills are pretty good looking hardwoods. All right, so we gotta have the gear. Put your blindfold on. Spread it good, spread it good. Can we do it like Frank's deer survey? Yeah. That we used to do? Yeah. Man, you, you really spread that out real good. Well, I want to see. I got to get an up close personal look at these things. Doot. Doot. Okay, what kind of waypoint should we put right here? Hey, somebody's been out here trapping. 
That thing's in there. Rebar. How long do you think that's been there? You want to play it? Play a game? They say you can put your hand in it. Let's see who can drop the most coins on it, and who makes it go off. You want to try that? You have a coin. Yeah. It's too rusted. Sean Hyden would love this. Push it out. Do claw trap. I don't know what happens now. You have to put it up under that thing. It's on there. It ain't gonna go off unless you drive on it. Let's see if it works. That's cool. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I think so, yeah. Deer surveys in June. You get my quality corn. Triple clean FRM. Mine's better. I can see, I think it's going to hold a lot of deer. We've leased some gorgeous places <clears throat> that did not have any deer on Yeah, that, that doesn't mean really much no. at all. It's kind of like all the, all the planted pines are in the center part of the property because they cut everywhere that they could and where it drops off in the, in the drainage ditches going off to the river, it's more open hardwood. So it's definitely gonna be a lot of bedding area. And the last, <laughs> the last deer that I killed in Georgia, I was like 11 and it was literally like an 80 inch eight and I was on top of the world. That was the last buck you killed? In the last buck I killed in Georgia, I was 11. But this will be fun. So y'all kind of stick along with us and We'll see what this thing turns into. We'll do some more videos over the summer of just hanging stands and kind of what me and Cohen have found that has helped us. Maybe y'all can comment some, some of the things that y'all have had success with on small tracks in the southeast. We'll share some trail camera pictures and hopefully our neighbors won't see it. Little little mini series spin off for road trips. So maybe next time we come out here, it won't be 5,000 degrees. So you're going to send me the first deer that comes on camera tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Hold on. All right, man. It's been real. See y'all next time.